Hello, my name is Henry. Uh, for those of you that are new here, I got all nines at GCSEs and I'm just trying to release as many videos as I can to explain how I did it and basically just give all the advice I can. Um, I'm trying to just do as many videos as I can so the quality might be a bit lower but I'm planning next year to kind of go over it again, um, make sure the video is better quality and I'll be releasing A-level videos and stuff like that then too. So I've received a lot of requests for language slash French um, in particular and unfortunately I didn't actually do French so what I've done is I've got my friend Iona who is insane at French got a nine um, to do a video so she's done a video today I've watched it it's really it's really good um, and detailed so yeah Iona's going to be doing it today and hopefully if you have any specific questions about French Feel free to comment them and just comment any general questions and I own a, uh, I'll ask her to respond to kind of the ones about French. And next week, by the way, or this week actually, I'm just I'm going to be releasing a video on Seneca as well. So a big Seneca guide. So make sure you're subscribed and please like the video now. And I hope this helps. Hello, uh, my name is Iona and I got a nine in GCSE French. And Henry asked me to do a video on how I got a nine. So... I just want to thank him for letting me do this because you know it's a pretty cool opportunity so thank you Henry okay so firstly we're gonna speak about listening uh, I think listening is one of the like weakest aspects I'd say it was definitely my weakest um, at GCSE and also I think the way they do they do it at GCSE is horrible like you're all sat in a room and you're listening to this really fast foreign person speak like it's not very fun to do so the main thing I'd say about listening is watch Netflix watch Netflix, watch YouTube, um, obviously do past papers and that so you can target like on the specific like exam board and specification stuff. But I definitely say try and watch YouTube videos and well, like with the subtitles in French or in your target language because it doesn't really feel like revising. Um, so you can do this during your break or also you can like listen to podcasts while you're walking to school on the bus. Um, it's definitely a method that I think is really good for language learning in general so I would definitely recommend trying to yeah listen to podcasts and stuff like that in French or in your language and also you can listen to the transcripts which is really useful so try and do that with um, past papers is listen to transcripts as well okay number two is Quizlet I know this is kind of an obvious thing but Quizlet is so so good for vocab and I still use it to this day and it's not just for um for French or languages I think Quizlet is also really good just for memorization because it actually gets your brain to like think but for vocab especially it's so so good and what I like to do is I like to put so after my mocks for example I like to put all the words that I didn't know or that I got wrong for example and I put this in a specific Quizlet um set so I can definitely memorize this vocab because you know what it's probably going to come up again in your actual GCSE so yeah putting in flashcards making flashcards of vocab that you don't know is also really useful and also just vocab that you do know uh just to emphasize your knowledge on that vocab mm. okay so for the speaking aspect I know some people find this really hard as well because you're well for me I spoke to my teacher uh, luckily, but I know obviously some people have to speak to just a random person who you've never heard speak French before So it's really hard to understand what they're saying, especially if they're they speak really fast So I'd say for speaking um, what I did was I memorized some top complex phrases that Has like really good vocab very good like grammar C phrases uh, conjugated verbs like in the future or imperfect um just complex phrases that you can memorize and just think like that say like that um, are really useful to have under your belt and also for the speaking i would say um it's kind of weird but you need to like practice it saying it out loud um because if you're just reading it you're not going to memorize it especially if you're like reading doesn't really stay in your memory at all so i definitely recommend speaking it out loud and then so look at what you're trying to say and then hide it away and then check afterwards as well. That's definitely um, the way to go for speaking for memory. Obviously, I'm going to say past papers, you know, for every subject, you're going to want to use past papers to revise from. But yeah, that's kind of an obvious one. But I just think they are so, so important and there are loads out there. And even if your exam board 
is like for example if you do like educast or some like really niche exam board um a lot of the time the like aqa will be quite similar so don't just think oh i can only do educast because that's not necessarily the truth especially with languages because it's a bit general um it's really good to just keep practicing even if your like themes are a bit different so definitely try revise with past papers because they are so good and you, you also just check where you're at next is i think you need to be passionate about the subject i think that's the main reason why i got a nine was because i actually loved french um and i was passionate about it and i was definitely going to use it in my future and that's one thing to note as well is that languages are used everywhere like everywhere you'll go everywhere you go someone will be speaking a different language and i think they're so useful and unlike like maths for example you'll like i don't really use maths that much anymore so like the complex maths i don't i don't use but with french you will actually they'll, there's a hundred percent guarantee that you're probably going to go to france um so you need to be passionate about the subject and I think that's one of the main reasons why I got a nine was because I really did revise a lot and I did care about the subjects and I put a lot of effort into revision. So I definitely think you need to have a reason on why you're studying French. So the next thing I would say is probably one of the most important things is, especially if you're passionate about learning languages and you want to continue French further on, is you need to integrate yourself within the French or whatever language culture. So you need to consume media in your target language so you need to read books you need to um talk to natives um you need to just listen all the time not all the time but you need to listen a lot to um french stuff so as going back to what i said about um like watching youtube and stuff is really useful for listening but also just for understanding the culture and understanding um like how they speak as well because sometimes it's kind of hard <laughs> Uh, but the main thing I'd say with this is Twitter. Use Twitter it, or X, sorry. Use X now. I think Twitter is so, so good for language learning because so many people use Twitter. So you're always going to have someone who's speaking the language that you want to learn. Um, and you can also reply to these people and they'll reply back to you. So you can kind of have a conversation. And going back to like the native thing as well, there's a app called Hello Talk, which is really, really good for speaking to natives and you yeah you can literally speak to real people <laughs> which is weird but you know it's a really good way to integrate yourself within the culture and the language which is you know it's vital so the final thing i'm going to mention is verbs because i think although vocab is really important like learning the verbs is important you also really need to be confident with understanding how to manipulate um and conjugate the verbs especially in like the imperfect um, and the future and conditional, those three tenses are so important to getting top grades because if you just like smack one of those in your writing or you say one of those in your listening, you're definitely gonna get like a lot of marks and they mark you, yeah, they do. I remember they mark you on um, what verbs you use. So you need to make sure you include at least one of every, all of those six verbs, six verbs. <laughs> um, in your speaking especially because they do mark you they give you marks for including all your verbs so definitely conjugate your verbs um i know french is kind of boring i think that's one of the main problems with um gcc french is that it was taught really really badly um i think in general it's just taught really badly luckily my teachers were really passionate um and they were, they were really good but i think in general french is kind of not taught very well <laughs> um sorry um but yeah i think definitely try and practice uh conjugating your verbs and try and conjugate them like while speaking obviously you can practice like writing them down but i think speaking them is really important because then you are natural about it and then in your speaking for example in the role play or in the card you can just come up with um this verb really quickly in your head and you don't have to think about it and you don't have to be like umming and erring which it doesn't lose you marks but you know you're not going to sound as confident and as natural in your language so definitely try and conjugate verbs and also onto that like onto verbs don't you don't need to learn the subjunctive you really don't need to learn the subjunctive i did not know the subjunctive i saw one a nine so if your teacher tells you you need to learn the subjunctive to get a nine no you don't know <laughs> 
it just adds a whole nother level of complicated learning that you just don't need to do especially like if you're thinking about learning it now this late um into your GCSE I would just not recommend learning the subjunctive because I didn't know it until A level and I was fine so definitely try and use complicated verbs but not that complicated you don't need to learn the subjunctive <laughs> um and also with like complicated vocab or grammar for example don't try to overcomplicate it because you just won't you could make a lot of mistakes you might just lose marks so try and find a middle ground and if you want to use the more complicated stuff just practice and practice it um so you can yeah don't lose marks for making silly mistakes <laughs> thank you very much for listening to this video i want to thank henry again for um letting me be on his channel um i will try and answer all the comments if you have any questions please feel free to leave them in the comment section below and yeah thank you very much